Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to go ahead and, and get started, but please uh, continue eating. Uh, I want to start uh, this evening with uh, telling you a story, um, and it's a true story. Uh, this was uh, in the early 1970s here. Uh, there was a, a freshman that enrolled in SMS. Uh, this guy didn't have, and by the way, it's not about me, so uh, I went there later. But um, the student didn't have a lot of money. Um, in high school, he made you know, some average grades, just an average student. Of course, in, in those times, we had open enrollment. Um, the student, the first year, uh, he majored uh, in fun. Uh, I think he enjoyed, um, you know, the uh, nightlife, uh, chasing girls, uh, that type of deal. Uh, so when you do those things your first year, you, know, you probably don't spend a lot of time studying. And he got in uh, probation, and he had to sit out a semester. And of course, back then, of course, our, found, our you know our foundation started in 1981, and we didn't have a foundation then, so there wasn't no private scholarships. Um, but a faculty member uh, went to go visit this guy uh, after he had to sit out a semester, and, and the student said, you know, he's not coming back. Um, it just wasn't for him. Um, but the faculty member thought the guy had potential, so he encouraged him to come back after sitting out the semester and gave him the tuition money. Uh, so he did come back. He did better. Uh, later, he graduated. Later, he went to law school. And he's one of our most successful attorneys in the Springfield area. Um, that attorney now gives back to this institution. And when I sat with him for a breakfast, he was telling me this story. And he got choked up. Uh, because what that faculty person did to give him money, scholarship money, to come back changed his entire life. You know, there, I have really two messages. One to our donors uh, that are here. Obviously, we, we want to say thank you. And uh, sometimes, and I don't mean this in a bad way, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> and I mean that in a good way, because sometimes you don't realize the outcome that those gifts into scholarships what it means. Uh, the state of Missouri, as you know, is in some bad times. The uh, state of Missouri has to cut $500 million out of the budget. And we have our share of cuts here at Missouri State. We have to cut out $5 million for fiscal year 11, and fiscal year 12 is going to be worse. Uh, but fortunately, we are, through a deal uh, with the governor, uh, we are keeping our tuition stable at $186 a credit hour. We did that last year, and we'll do that uh, in fiscal year 11. And a lot of states can't say that, uh, that uh, they've kept the tuition the same. But obviously, there's a lot of great debate around the country about excess to higher education. Uh, and it is expensive. Even at $186 a credit hour, it is expensive. Scholarships are needed to make those differences and to have other stories like the story I told you. So our donors are critical uh, in that uh, debate on access to higher education. The second message is to our students. And I encourage you to look at your donor, uh, because that donor uh, greatly benefited your life here at Missouri State. And when you leave and graduate here, uh, we're going to ask you to pay it back uh, and then pay it forward as well. Now, I realize uh, that's probably not tops on your list right now as you graduate. This is not on your checklist. But uh, I know you've you, you know, you're, you got to get a job, uh, be a success in your career. But don't uh, forget about the experience that you had. Don't forget about the donor that you're sitting with uh, because you need to be that donor as well because as you get out into uh, society, I mean, you want uh, educated people in your communities, uh, running the states and your nations. We have a lot of students that live uh, in other countries once they live here. But you want an educated populace. So uh, think about that as, as you graduate. And obviously, we'll, we'll get back with you on that. We'll don't let you forget. Um, but each gift, 
uh, that a donor has made, and obviously each student, there are stories behind uh, what started that gift, or there are stories from students that um, will tell you that that gift really made a big difference in their life. And we're going to hear from a few stories.